So welcome to the channel. I am going to be working on the VR4 today. And what I'm gonna do is I had some issues that I didn't like with the core panels when I painted them. Uh, it wasn't in the base coat or any of the bodywork. It was in the clear. Uh, it was the first time I ever used this clear and I did run it. Unfortunately, there were a few dry spots in this area right here and this area right here as well. So the plan is, is I'm gonna drive this over to the shop and uh, get it ready tonight to, uh, to respray the quarter panels and uh, respray those areas I was not happy with. What I'm gonna do right now, I have kind of been piling some uh, of the parts uh, from the car inside of it. So I'm gonna pull all this stuff back out because I don't need it in there when I am actually going to paint it. I don't wanna get overspray on it. Uh, pretty much the roof is fine. Everything's gonna be covered up. Uh, the wheels will get covered up. I'll pull the rear wheels off like I did last time. Uh, this time, since I already did, you know, paint most of everything else, I should just have, you know, a bit a lot easier to just focus on spraying the core panels in these areas that were dry and uh, get it really, really nice and, uh, you know, get the clear laid out and not actually, you know, run it this time. So just got done pulling all the random stuff out of the VR4 so I could drive it over and uh, get it ready for paint. I uh, definitely hope this time around, you know, I, I, I hopefully I learned from the clear mistake last time. The roof laid out like super nice, but you know, once, once the quarters are done, I could pretty much start putting the whole car back together. And uh, once the quarters are done, I'm going to paint the brake calipers or these stop tech braid lines. So just uh, some more stuff to do. So I'm gonna drive the VR4 over to the shop, but there's no windshield, no glass in it. Uh, when I drove it over here, it was like, I think 100 degrees out. Today, I think it is 50 degrees out. So it is gonna be very cold, no doors, nothing. So last night I got these quarter panels blocked out in 600 grit. I'm gonna go back over them with 800 now that they're you know smooth and not you know got all the runs out. I used the long, like I think it's 24 inch block right there instead of using a, a smaller block and then it would have had the chances of being wavy. All right, so I've been sanding the quarter panel and I also got in this door sill area and down here, so the plan is to pretty much back mask right here on the seam, and then up here, and then uh, paint all of that. I still need to, this is a little bit dry, so I need to do the same thing as I did over there, but I uh, am just gonna paint this area, not the whole thing, and use that seam as well, and that seam. So last night I pretty much got everything scuffed. I need to still, uh, the quarter panels are done. This side, the uh, you know that part of the door. So, like I said before, I wanted to do. And these, uh, see, you can still see it's a little bit shiny. I need to get some scuffed stuff in an emery cloth and uh, scuff that. But this is scuffed uh, as well. The only thing I really need to, you know, get really well is uh, this was on, uh, right here wasn't bad. But up here, no, actually right here was where it was a little bit dry. So I uh, still need to sand. You can still see a little bit of orange peel in there um, that I need to sand out so it's smooth. And then in the, you know, the cracks and stuff, I'll use some scuff stuff to uh, actually get it to a point where I could, uh, you know, put a new coat because I want it to actually be nice and, um, you know, glossy and not all dry because you can, you can see uh, this when the trunk's open. And then something else I wanted to paint, but I don't want to do in purple. I'm going to do it the tuxedo black. So it's the four color. Um, these always fade and they always look really bad. The windshield wiper arms and then 
the uh, the cowl cover is metal as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, scuff it probably with, uh, you know, some 220 or like maybe 320. And uh, then I will, uh, you know, that piece pretty much goes right up against the windshield. And it is the same color that Trevor's Supra is, the black part of it. And uh, let me bust out the flashlight. So, yeah, the windshield wiper arms and stuff, well, you know, they'll have a little metallic to it. So it'll kind of match the, uh, the purple, but it won't be purple. So the purple kind of has the same kind of metallic -y to it. And uh, then I will uh, have some decent looking windshield wiper arms instead of those, you know, look how faded this thing is. It's just ugly. And they all do this. And then uh, later on, there's a, a piece of trim that goes on the bottom of the hatch and then one that goes on the top of the hatch. I need to fill the one on the top of the hatch. It has like a windshield washer nozzle hole. And then there's one that goes right here across the top of the the, the roof up against the glass and I'll do that as well in the tuxedo black so everything will kind of match it'll be nice and shiny but it won't be like you know old and dingy or just like matte black where it could you know it'll have some clear coat on it so it'll be protected and I think the windshield wipers um if once they're you know redone you can see how you know they get all faded and they're just a, like a, a matte finish, so they're really easy to get to this stage. And uh, they all usually end up looking like that. So I just finished using the scuff stuff to, you know, touch up all the nooks and crannies, like uh, around this little latch thing for the door. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it's a latch. It's, it has something to do with the door, but uh, to get around that, it's easier to just use a piece of emery cloth and scuff it because you're never going to get perfectly flat anyway because it's a latch. Uh, also with like seams and stuff around here, you can see it's all dull. And uh, that's because you get in there with a the little piece of emery cloth and scuff it. So the quarter panels and everything that I'm going to repaint, the part of the door cell right there, you can see it's dull. Right there, you can see it's dull. And the center piece was fine. So you can see the, the seams, I kind of, um, so I'm gonna mask it, back mask it on the seam right here, and then come up all the way around here, oops, and then just paint that section, because I don't need to paint the rest. It, it actually got covered well. I, uh, you know, it, this was my first paint job, so you know, I'm uh, learning as I go, and uh, you know, just these little sections isn't really a big deal. Okay, so I sanded this fender down. I was thinking about high building it today, but I decided against it. I'll do it uh, probably tomorrow, I'm guessing, but I, uh, I'm glad that I got all this scuffed and ready to go. I uh, have noticed a, a few areas that I missed right there. There's a little shiny spot. I need to scuff that a little bit better, but otherwise it is uh, you know, pretty much ready to go. And uh, either tomorrow or the next day, I should be able to repaint these quarters and the, the scuff spots and then clear it. And then I should be good to go with that. Um, once I am done with that, I'll be able to put the new subframe in with solid bushings, the new diff bushings in, the rear steering delete, and uh, you know fix this whole camber issue. So the, uh, the back wheels are definitely cambered in. Uh, they're 18 by nine and a half and uh, I do want to fix that so it has zero camber in the rear because the front is zero camber so I'll have a little bit more meat on the ground you can see exactly where the tire is wearing it's almost a full tire but that outside you can see it's a little bit cleaner so I uh, and the tires don't have very many miles on them maybe like 50 miles so uh, yeah, I am excited that this uh, whole thing is getting ready to actually, you know, not have runs in it. And uh, I could start putting some of the cool parts that I have bought a while ago for it on. Like I did the battery re relocation and I wanna do the ABS delete after it's done being painted. Uh, the only reason I wanted to do that, I wasn't even gonna do it till like way later on, but then I decided to paint the calipers, the Lamborghini yellow. These projects will be coming together 
And if you like the videos, make sure to subscribe. Click that bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications when I post new videos. Also, make sure to comment, like the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.